Good evening, Isaiah. Blessings to you, Isaiah. Good to have you on tonight. Pray that you had a wonderful day thus far. Thank you for inviting your followers. Thank you so much. Good evening, Tiara. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful day. Blessings to you. Blessings to everyone tonight on Facebook. Blessings to you on Periscope. Pray that everyone had a wonderful day. Good to have you on. Make sure you share with at least five people. Come on, make sure you share tonight. Let me know where you're viewing from tonight, if you don't mind. Let me know where you're viewing from. I came on just a little earlier. Bless you, Atlanta. All right, good, awesome. I'll have to look you up when I come through there. Bless you, Tierra. Bronx. Okay, good. Awesome. How's things in the Bronx? We'll have to come there pretty soon uh, visiting, but it seems like they're having a lot of restrictions there. We just had someone go there. Seems like they're having a lot of restrictions, so I don't know if that's too good to visit. Too much fireworks still have. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Well, you be safe. You be safe. We're covering you in prayer. You be safe. All right. Blessings. God bless you, Nisi. God bless you, Larry. God bless you, Sister Brenda. Make sure you share with at least five to ten people. Make sure you share with at least five to ten people tonight. People will be coming on. We came on just a little earlier. People will catch up with us. Those of you who are already on, our scripture tonight will be Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew 6, 25. Good. Matthew chapter 6, 25. Let's go to uh, 34. 25 to 34. Matthew 6, 25 through 34. Okay. We'll give the people a couple of more minutes and then we'll get started. God bless you, Sister Roberts. Please give your husband our love. How you been doing? Good evening. Matthew chapter 6, 25 through 34. Matthew chapter 6, 25 through 34. Make sure you share tonight with at least 5 to 10 people. Make sure you share with at least 5 to 10 people. Okay, good. All right. Well, when you're ready, say ready. Let me speak a blessing over you. Let me speak a blessing over you and your family. When you're ready, say ready. 
Good. I see that, Tiara. When you're ready, say ready. Let me speak a blessing over you and your family. I see that, Isaiah. When you're ready, say ready. I'll speak a blessing and we'll get started tonight. Good. I see that, Nisi. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom, peace. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. All right, well, let's go tonight. Those of you taking notes, we're in Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. Father, we thank you for the seed sown already by Sam. We thank you that every seed meets his need in Jesus' name. Good evening, glory. Blessings to you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom or peace. All right, Matthew chapter 6, 25 through 34, and it reads as thus. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink or what you shall wear is not life more than meat and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them, are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith. Verse 31, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Therefore take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Is of each day. Here ends the reading of God's word. Okay, let's go, uh, let's look at tonight for a thought. Let's look at first things first. Write that down, first things first. That's what we're going to talk about tonight, first things first. Okay, first things first. Let's talk about that tonight. If I was to give you a title, thank you, Tiara. First things first. Okay. If you look in verse number 33 of that sixth chapter, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God bless you, Minister Bird. Love you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. God bless you. Minister Bird, are you ready to testify tonight? I can bring you on if you want to tell a testimony. 
if you want to tell the testimony, I can bring you on or you can write it in there. Okay. When you see, go to the bottom. If you go to the bottom of the screen, there's going to be smiley faces. Oh, I'll write it. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good. All right. First things first. Okay. Let's look at that. Write this down. The kingdom of God should be your first priority. Write that down. The kingdom of God, Sister Brenda, should be your first priority. The kingdom of God, Isaiah, Tierra, Nisi, the kingdom of God, Sister Roberts, should be our first priority. Sam, the Bible says you and I must seek first the kingdom of God. Okay, First is priority. Okay, First is principle. First means above all else. Seek ye first. Okay, good. Good. Thank you, Isaiah. The word first means priority. The word first means above all else. The word first means principle. Okay? So the kingdom of God should be the principal thing in your life. The kingdom of God should be your priority. The kingdom of God is what you seek after above all else. Okay? Write that down. The word first means priority. The word first means principle. The word first means above all else. Okay? So you could read that. But seek ye first above all else the kingdom of God. Make the kingdom of God your priority. Thank you, Tierra. Good. The kingdom of God must be your priority. Okay? Why? Is that so important? It's going to tell you. Let's go back to verse number 25. Matthew 6, verse 25. Therefore, I say unto you. Okay. Write down that word, therefore. Anytime you see that word, therefore, you've got to ask a question. Okay. Anytime you see that word, therefore, Minister Bird, you've got to ask a question. What is therefore, therefore? Okay. What is the word therefore, therefore? The word therefore means based on something prior. Okay. When you read the word therefore, it means, Nisi, based on something prior. Okay. But Therefore, therefore, I say unto you, what is that therefore, therefore, what based on something prior? Well, let's go up to verse 24. Let's go to verse 24, based on something prior. Thank you, Minister Bird. Watch this. No man can serve two masters. Write that down. Write that down. Two masters, write that down. No one can serve two masters, okay? So tonight, we're going to find out what master are you serving? No man can serve, Tierra, two masters. Good. No man can serve two masters. Why? They're going to tell you why, Isaiah. The scripture answers itself. Sister Roberts, Nisi, Sam, Sister Brenda, the scripture answers itself. No man can serve two masters. Why? For either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Okay? You cannot serve God and mammon. Write that down. Notice, it did not say God and the devil. See? Did you catch that, Tierra? It didn't say God and the devil. 
It didn't say God and the devil, Isaiah, because we think either you're serving God or either you're serving the devil. It said you cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and mammon. You see that? I want you to see that. It didn't say the devil. See, either you're going to look to God, write this down, either you're going to look to God to meet your needs, or you're going to look to money to meet your needs. Write that down. Either you're looking to God to meet your needs, or you're looking to money to meet your needs. Write that down. The scripture said you cannot serve two masters. Either you're going to love the one, hate the other, hold to one, despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Either you're going to look to God to meet your need, or you're going to look to money to meet your need. Okay? Write this down. Either money is your master, or money is your servant. Come on, we want to find out what master are you serving. With your words, you say you serve God. But let's see who do you serve with your actions. Okay. Thank you, Minister Bird. Either money, Isaiah, is your master or your servant. Somebody say, Pastor Brian, explain that. Somebody say, Pastor Brian, explain that, please. Explain what you're saying. Money is my servant. Money is my master. Watch this, Sister Roberts. Watch this, Nisi. Watch this, Larry. Watch this, Sam. Thank you, Tierra. Thank you, Minister Bird. Thank you, Isaiah. Watch this. Isaiah, if money is your master, watch this, you work for it. If money is your servant, it works for you. Good evening, Shamir. Good evening, Lenore. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Come on. If money is your master, you work for it. If money is your servant, it works for you. The scripture said you cannot serve two masters. Either you're going to love one and hate the other. You're going to despise one and hold to the other. So you're either looking to God to meet your needs or you're looking to money to meet your needs. Who is your master? Are you looking to God to meet your need or are you looking to money to meet your need. How do you know, Pastor Bryant? Well, I just told you. If money is your master, thank you, Minister Bird, you work for it. If money is your servant, it works for you. Now, let me ask a question. Do you work for money or does money work for you? Most people work for money. That's what a job is, working for money. Most people work for money. And anytime you think you need more money, you know what you do? You work more hours. Come on, be honest. Anytime you need more money, you begin to work more hours. And you believe, you believe that if you work more hours, you'll get more money. See? You believe if you work more hours, you're going to get more money. And that's true. But you're also losing more. Father, we thank you for the seed sown tonight by Nisi. Now we speak increase, abundance, and favor. May she know what it is for money to work for her. May she know what it is for money to work for her. I need somebody to declare tonight money works for me. Come on, declare that. Money works for me. 
I do not work for money. Come on, Lenore. Money works for you. Shamia, money works for you. Glory, money works for you. Isaiah, money works for you. Hallelujah. Come on. It must work for you. So guess what, Isaiah? When you go to sleep, money's working for you. When you go to the store, money's working for you. When you're on a trip, money's working for you. Come on. Money works for you. Why? Because it's your servant. It's your servant. That's why it works for you. It's your servant. It's your servant. Good, Nisi. Good, Tierra. Good, Isaiah. Good, Minister Bird. Money is my servant. Come on, make that confession. Money is my servant. Come on. Money does not have me. I have it. Come on. Money does not have me. I have it. Money does not have me. I have it. You have money, Sam. Money doesn't have you. You have money, Nisi. Money doesn't have you. It's your servant. It works for you. It works for you. So you can enjoy, and it's still working for you, Glory. Money is your servant. Money is your servant. It works for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about money. Why? Because you have dominion over it. You have dominion over money. Money doesn't tell you what to do. You tell money what to do. Hallelujah. All right. Write this down. First things first. Write this down. First things first. God bless you, Evangelist Carolyn. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Tonight, we're talking about first things first. First things first. That's what we're talking about tonight. First things first. First things first. We're in Matthew chapter 6, 25 through 34. Matthew 6, 25 through 34. God bless you, Evangelist White. Blessings to you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on. Okay. Write this down. You must make the main thing the main thing. Write this down. You must make the main thing the main thing. The reason why people are in trouble because we do not make the main thing the main thing. The reason why the church is in trouble, because we have gotten away from the main thing. The reason why the world is in trouble, the reason why the government is in trouble, because we do not make the main thing the main thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody asked me tonight, say, Pastor Bryant, what is the main thing? God bless you, Larry. Come on, what is the main thing? Come on. I can't make the main thing the main thing if I don't know what the main thing is. Hallelujah. 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 What? Thank you, Minister Bird. Good. Let's see. Verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. What is the main thing? Seeking first God's kingdom. Write that down. What is the main thing? Thank you, Vincent Carolyn. Seeking first God's kingdom. That is the main thing. Seeking first God's kingdom. That's the main thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not going to church. Seeking first God's kingdom, not being on an auxiliary, seeking first God's kingdom, not running after a title, not running after a position. The main thing is to seek first God's kingdom. Hallelujah. My God, I love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we honor you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, Pastor, what happens? What happens when I 
Seek first God's kingdom. Something, write this down, Tierra, please. Watch this, Evangelist Carolyn. Something supernatural happens. Lenore, something supernatural happens. Nisi, Larry, something supernatural happens, Isaiah. My God, I can't explain it, glory, but something supernatural happens, Evangelist White, when you seek first God's kingdom. Something supernatural happens. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. My God, thank you. Watch this. Come on, somebody say, what is it? What happens? What happens when I seek first the kingdom of God? It's in the text. Watch this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. My God. And all these things shall be added unto you. What happens? Things are added to your life supernaturally. God begins to add things to your life supernaturally. I need to help somebody. You've been chasing things, but if you seek the kingdom first, things will begin to chase you. My God. I said, if you seek first the kingdom of God, if you make the main thing, the main thing, then what you've been chasing will begin to chase you. Something supernatural happens. Felicia, good evening. Something supernaturally happens when you seek first the kingdom of God. My God. Hallelujah. What you have been chasing begins to chase you, glory. What you've been chasing, Shamia, what you've been chasing, Isaiah, Larry, Nisi, Evangelist White, the thing that you were chasing begins to chase you. It's supernatural. I can't explain it. Hallelujah. You can work extra hours, but you, watch this, when you work extra hours, you're chasing it. Minister Bird, when you work extra hours, Lenore, you're chasing it. When you work extra hours, Tierra, you're chasing it. God is showing you how to get the things to chase you. He said, I'll just add it unto you. Do it my way and I'll add it unto you. If you do it God's way, he'll supernaturally add it to your life. My God. God bless you, Yvette. Blessings to you. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. All right. Let's go back. We're in Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. The first thing we learn tonight. Write this down. The first thing we learn tonight, Yvette, is... God bless you, Sister Angela. Blessings to you and your family. We're in Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. The first thing we learn tonight, number one, write this down, Tierra. you cannot serve two masters. Write that down. Come on, write it down, Lenore. You cannot serve two masters, Evangelist Carolyn. That's the first thing we learn from the text. Larry, Isaiah, Glory, Nisi, the first thing we learn, you cannot serve two masters. My God. Hallelujah. You cannot serve two masters. He already told you that. Okay, good. Hallelujah. Number two. Number two. The next thing we learn. Hallelujah. Come on. You are not to take thought for your life. The Bible said take no thought for your life. My God. Come on. Take no thought for your life. In other words, 
don't worry about your life. My God, my that's hard. My number one, you can't serve two masters. Number two, don't worry about your life. Good evening, Regina. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Let's take a little break. I need you to invite at least five people. Come on. I need you to invite at least five people. If you're being blessed, tap that screen. Let me see the thumbs up. Let me see the hearts tonight. If you're being blessed, tap that screen. I need you to invite at least five to ten people. Thank you, Felicia. Come on. Let me see those hearts. Thank you on Periscope. Come on, Facebook. Hallelujah. The first thing we learn, you cannot serve two masters. Right in the text. Number two. Watch this. Number one, thank you. You cannot serve two masters. And the second thing we learn, Angela, the second thing we learn is take no thought for your life. Don't worry about your life. My God. Hallelujah. Can I share this with you, Yvette? Can I share this with you, Evangelist Carolyn? Can I share this? Thank you for sharing tonight, Evangelist Carolyn. Can I share this with you, Minister Bird? I caught it. I just caught it, Sam. I just caught it, Isaiah, Tierra. Notice, Evangelist White. Notice, Yvette. Shamia, Lenore, Glory. Watch this. Thank you. Watch this, Evangelist Carolyn. He says you cannot serve two masters. And then the next verse, he says, don't worry about your life. Now, that may seem impossible, Regina, but guess what? I just caught it. Put the verses together. God bless you, Renea. Blessings to you and your family, your sister, we pray that you are having a wonderful night. Watch this, Renea. We're in Matthew 6, 25 through 34. Watch this, Larry. He says, you cannot serve two masters. And then he says, don't worry about your life. How is that possible, Angela? Watch. Because if you serve the right master, you won't have to worry about your life. Somebody give me a bomb tonight. Where is the bomb squad? My God, glory. If you serve the right master, you won't have to worry about your life. The reason many of you are worrying because you're serving the wrong master. If you serve the right master, you will not have to worry about your life. My God, somebody need to say, yes, Lord. If you serve the right master, you don't have to worry about your life. You don't have to worry about what you need. You don't have to worry about what you're going to eat. You don't have to worry about what you're going to wear when you serve the right master. Why? Because he adds it to your life. Regina, the reason why you don't have to worry about it, because he adds it to your life. When does he add it? When you seek first the kingdom of God. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Man, that's powerful. Renee, when you serve the right master. Nisi, when you serve the right master. Angela, when you serve the right master. Yvette, when you serve the right master. Evangelist White, when you serve the right master. Evangelist Carolyn, when you serve the right master, you do not worry about your life. Why? Because your life is in his hand. Come on, write that down. My life is in his hand. I'm about to shout. I'm about to get out of my seat when I heard, my God, my life is in his hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to know tonight, Evangelist Carolyn, your life is in his hand. Tierra, your life is in his hand. Minister Bird, your life, glory, is in his hand. 
My God. Nisi, good, Felicia. Your life is in his hand. My God. Hallelujah. Write this down, please. Write down. My God, Larry, your life is in his hand. Write down this. Watch this. My God. Seek ye first the kingdom. Write down there the kingdom, please. My God. When I start talking about the kingdom, I get excited. Put down the word kingdom. My God, seek ye first the kingdom. God bless you, Lisa. Love you. Where you been hiding? I've been looking for you. Seek ye first the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom. My God. There you go, evangelist. Armstrong, yeah, not man, not the president, not Congress. Some of you are waiting on the stimulus package coming out. But I want you to know that you have an inheritance in the kingdom. I want you to know you got wealth in the kingdom. I want you to know that everything you need is in the kingdom. My God. See? The reason why you're worried, because you're serving the wrong master. The reason why you're worried, because you're serving the wrong master. When you serve the right master, then your life is in his hands. Write this down. The king is responsible for my welfare and well-being. Write this down. The king is is responsible for my welfare and well-being. Love you too. <laughs> Amen. Watch this. The king is responsible for your welfare and well-being. When you're in the kingdom, Nisi, when you're in the kingdom, Larry, when you're a part of the kingdom, Glory, the king is responsible for your welfare and well-being. That's part of your privilege. When you're in the kingdom, hallelujah, he is responsible, Tierra. You're not responsible. He is responsible for your welfare and well-being. Lord, have mercy. See? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Write this down. God bless you, Aisha. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Write this down. My God, seek ye first the kingdom of God. When you make the kingdom your priority, your search is over. The moment you become a kingdom citizen, your search is over. The moment, Lenore, you become a kingdom citizen, your search is over. Regina, the moment you become part of the kingdom, your search is over. Religion will have you searching for the rest of your life. Religion will have you searching for the rest of your life. But once you come into the kingdom, your search is over. Why? Because everything you need is in the kingdom. You're going to spend your whole life searching instead of enjoying the kingdom. You have two choices. You can spend your whole life searching or you can spend your whole life enjoying the kingdom. I don't know about you, but I'm going to enjoy the kingdom. Everything I need, it's in the kingdom. Hallelujah. All that I need is in the kingdom. All that I desire is in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Everything I need. My God. All that I need is in the kingdom. All that I need is your righteousness. Then I'll have everything. 
My God, there you go. All that you need. And the reason why you're still searching, the reason why you're still searching, because you're not a part of the kingdom. When you get in the kingdom, your search is over. I'm not looking for nothing else. I found what I've been looking for. Hallelujah. I found what I've been looking for. Everything is in the kingdom. All that I need. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to drink. Why? Because when I make the kingdom my priority, God supernaturally adds things to my life. Come on, tap that screen and receive it. Come on, tap that screen and receive it. Hallelujah. Do you see, Nisi? Do you see what the text is saying, Minister Bird, Lisa? Do you see, Evangelist Carolyn, the text is saying, Regina, that most people are occupied with the pursuit See, most people, Evangelist Carolyn, are pursuing what to eat, what to wear, what to drink. See, most people are occupied, Lisa, with the pursuit. They're still in search. They're trying to find out what I need to wear, what I need to eat. Hallelujah. Write this down. Seek ye first. Write that down, please. Write that down, capital letter. Seek ye first, please. Somebody write that down for me. Seek ye first. Capital letters. Seek ye. Good, thank you. Did you catch it? Did you catch it, Felicia? Did you catch it, Minister Bird? Did you catch it, Lisa? Who caught that? Seek ye first. Somebody tell me. Did you catch it? Seek ye first. God bless you, Betty Jean. Seek ye first. Did you catch it, Regina? Did you catch it? Seek ye first. The kingdom of God in his righteousness. We're in Matthew 6, 25 through 34. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. Who caught it? Thank you, Sister Betty Jean. Who caught it? Seek ye first. The word first means above all else. Write that down. The word first means above all else. Evangelist Carolyn, the word first means above all else. You've got to put the kingdom above everything else. The word first means principle. Hallelujah. The word first means priority. It means priority. It means above all else. It means principle. Seek ye first. Guess what? Sister Betty Jean, seek ye first is a command. It's not a suggestion. Some of you think it's a suggestion. Regina, that's not a suggestion. That's a command. Lisa, that's not a suggestion. That's a command. Minister Bird, it's not a suggestion. It's a command, Larry. You've got to seek first the kingdom. It's a command. It's a command. Thank you, Sister Betty Jean. The word first means above all else. The word first means priority. You've got to make the kingdom your priority. You've got to seek it above all else. God bless you, Sister Carolyn Smith. Thank you for sharing. My God. It's a command, glory. It's a command, Isaiah. It's a command, Evangelist White. It's a command, Lenore. Seek ye for, It's a command. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Write this down. God wants to take care of you better than you could ever take care of yourself. Does anybody believe that? That God wants to take care of you better than you could ever take care of yourself? Some of you, you're just stuck because you keep thinking, if I don't do it, it won't be done. I got to do this. I got to do that. Listen to what you're saying. If I don't do it, who's going to do it? Nobody's going to do it for me. Wait a minute. Aren't you a part of the kingdom? Aren't you a part of the kingdom? God is responsible. The king is responsible for your welfare and well-being. I like that evangelist, Carolyn, before anything else. Before anybody else, God wants to take care of you better than you take care of yourself. Hallelujah. See? Hallelujah. Write this down. Let me know, let me know when I hit your street. Let me know when I hit your street. Most people's focus, Regina, most people's focus, Minister Bird, is on making a living. Write that down. Most people's focus, Sister Betty Jean, is on making a living. I done hit your street already. Most people's focus is on making a living. Thank you, Minister Bird. Number two, most people's focus is on raising their kids. Most people's focus is on making a living. Most people's focus is on raising their kids. Number two, most people's focus is on maintaining their home. Where do you fit in? Are you focused on making a living? Are you focused on raising your kids? Are you focused on maintaining your home? Some of you already hit your street. Are you focused on making a living? Are you focused on raising your kids? Are you focused on maintaining your home? Father, we thank you for the seed sown tonight by evangelist Carolyn. I thank you that her seed meets her need in Jesus' name. Thank you, woman of God. You got that, number one? Most people's focus, Minister Bird, is on making a living. Glory, thank you. Number two, most people's focus is on raising their children. Thank you, Regina. Number three, most people's focus is on maintaining their home. Number four, most people's focus is on acquiring more things. <laughs> My God. Most people's focus, fourthly, is on acquiring more things. You are in one of those categories. One of those four categories, Tierra, Lenore, Shamia, Glory, Isaiah, DeArthur, Evangelist Carolyn, Larry, Nisi, Betty Jean. We are in one of those four categories. Is your focus on making a living, raising your children, maintaining your home, acquiring more things? Is your focus on temporary activities? Number five, temporary activities. Number five, temporary activities. Making a living, one. Raising your children, two. Maintaining your home, three. Acquiring more things, four. Or number five. Acquiring... Or you focus on temporary, thank you, Regina, activities. God bless you, Tasha. Temporary activities. 
Come on, be honest. Where are you? Out of those five things, where are you? Where are you tonight? Where's your focus tonight? I used to be number three. Okay. Number one, making a living. Number two, raising your children or grandchildren. Number three, maintaining your home. Number four, acquiring more things. Number five, focus on temporary activities. You got to know where you are. Hallelujah. And what you do, one in three, good. Be honest. Thank you, Tiara. See, what you do, you just add God to all of that. See, God is not ahead of that. Evangelist Carolyn, we don't put God ahead of it. We just add God with it. See, that's why our lives are like they are, because we're in one of those five categories and we just add God to the mix. God has to be the center of it. Temporary activities is mine. Okay, thank you, Regina. God has to be the center of it all. Lord have mercy. When God is the center of everything, everything else works out. When God, thank you, Tasha, when God is the center of it all, Sam, Everything else works out. Glory, when God is the center of it all, everything else works out. The Lord makes it work supernaturally. The Lord makes it work supernaturally. It's a kingdom principle. Write this down. When God prospers you, it is effortless. My God, somebody better receive that. When God prospers you, it is effortless. I decree and declare over your life, Betty Jean, the prosperity of God. When God prospers you, Betty Jean, it is effortless. It is sweatless. Aren't you tired of labor? Aren't you tired of toil? Don't you want to move into sweatless living? Does anybody want to move into sweatless living? Aren't you tired of the toil? Aren't you tired of the labor? Anybody want to live effortlessly, sweatless? When God prospers you, Lenore, it is sweatless. I'm learning, Pastor. I ask God to help me. This message confirms. He, awesome, awesome. We, there's the secret. The secret is right here. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You've got the secret, Lenore. You've got the secret, Betty Jean. You've got the secret, Tasha, Tierra, Isaiah, Nisi, Larry, Evangelist White, Evangelist Carolyn, Sam. We've got the secret. Seek first the kingdom of God. That's the secret. That's the secret. Seek first the king. It's a kingdom principle. It's a kingdom principle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I tell you this, Regina? God has many ways of working things out. Write that down. Somebody write that down for me. Tiara, can you do that, please? Can somebody write down for me in capital letters, God has many ways of working things out. Good. Thank you, Betty Jean. Come on, somebody put that in capital letters. God has many ways of working things out. Thank you, Tiara. Some of you need to hear that tonight. Because some of you think you're stuck. 
Some of you think there's no way out. Some of you think you're trapped. But God has many ways of working things out. Thank you. God has many ways. Thank you, Tasha. Thank you, Lenore. Thank you, Shamia. Thank you, Felicia. God has many ways of working things out. Hallelujah. Can you praise him right now? Can you praise him right now? Take three seconds. Praise him right now. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you that things are already worked out. You are the God who always causes us to triumph. We shout the victory. We shout hallelujah. Come on right where you are. Praise him. God has many ways of working things out. Hallelujah. Praise him right now. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we thank you that it's already done. Hallelujah. 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 You know why I had you praise him, Nisi? You know why I had you praise him, Felicia? You know why I had you praise him, Tierra? You know why I had you praise him, Minister Bird? Lenore, Shamia, Lisa, do you know why I had you praise him tonight, Betty Jean? Can I tell you? Can I tell you, Glory, why I said to praise him? Hallelujah. Thank you, Minister Bird. This is why. Because praise changes your perspective. Betty Jean, praise changes your perspective. Felicia, praise changes your your perspective. Regina, praise changes your perspective. Good God Almighty. Praise changes, Lenore, your perspective. My God. That's how I know if you've been praising. What's your perspective? How do you see things? See, if you see, if you feel trapped, you haven't been praising him. If you think there's no way out, you haven't been praising him because praise changes your perspective. Praise causes you to see it like God sees it. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. 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 My God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Minister Bird, Sister Betty Jean, all the devil can do is aggravate you. He cannot stop anything. Hear me, Regina. The only thing the devil can do is aggravate you. He cannot stop anything. His job is to distract you. His job is to get you to focus on your problem. Tasha, the devil's job is to get you to focus on your problem. And he gets you so aggravated that you forget that he cannot stop anything. The devil cannot stop anything. The reason why it gets delayed is because you don't have the right attitude. You've got to change your attitude attitude. The only way you can change your attitude is to get a different perspective. Oh my God. Tierra, all he can do is aggravate you. He can't stop nothing. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you stay up all night aggravated. Some of you stay up all night trying to figure things out. You staying up, you can't uh, focus, you can't sleep. My God, enough is enough. Some of you, my God, you are so focused on life circumstances, you cannot even go to sleep. Even when you get in the bed, my God, your mind is not resting your mind is running. Who am I talking to tonight? Your mind is running and you can't get to sleep and you get to sleep like three and four in the morning and then you got to jump up and go to work. My God, I speak peace over your mind. This is the last night you are tormented. This is the last night 
you stay up all night long. My God, the king is responsible for your welfare and your well-being. Hallelujah. 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 See? Good, Tierra. When you seek first the kingdom of God, Lenore, God works it out. Betty Jean, when you seek first the kingdom of God, God works it out. When you seek first the kingdom of God, Tierra, God works it out. How does he do it? Supernaturally. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What does that mean? His righteousness means God's way of doing things. Write that down. His righteousness means God's way of doing things. When you see that, seek first the kingdom of God and his right is his way of doing things. You've got to do it his way. His way is not stressing about it. His way is not stressing about it. His way is not worrying about it. That's not his way. His way is in everything. Give him praise. Hallelujah. His way is praise. His word way is worship. His way is thanksgiving. Believe that you receive and you shall have it. Hallelujah. 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 Write this down. Are you ready for God's way of doing things? Are you ready to experience supernatural living? How many of you are ready to experience supernatural living? You know what it is. To live by natural provision. How many of you are ready to move from natural provision to supernatural provision? How many of you are ready to move from natural provision to supernatural provision? My, Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, Betty Jean, verse 33 is supernatural provision. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, is supernatural provision. Hallelujah. Good. You enjoy. Father, we thank you for a pastor. We thank you for using whoever's going to speak. Are you speaking tonight, woman of God? Let the Lord use you. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord's going to show you, Tierra. The Lord's going to show you how not to ask for money. Come on. You don't have to ask for money. Did you know that? Did you know that? You don't have to ask God for money. Did you know that? You don't have to ask God for money. You don't have to pray for money. Did you know that? I found that out a long time ago. You don't have to ask for it. You don't have to pray for it. Why? Because when you put him first, he adds it to you. When you put the kingdom of God first, he adds it to it. You don't have to pray or ask him for it. When you seek first the kingdom of God, he adds everything that you need. He already knows what you have need of. He already knows what you have need of. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. My God. Come on. You don't have to pray for it. He adds it to you. That's what the scripture said. 
Come on, somebody say, God supplies all my needs. Come on, declare that God supplies all my needs. Come on, God supplies all my needs. You can't find one scripture where he tells you to pray for money. You can't find one scripture where he tells you to pray for money. There's not one scripture he tells you to pray for more money. God supplies all my needs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I give, he gives unto me. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over. Shall he cause men to give into my bosom? He meets my need according to his riches in glory. He doesn't meet my need according to my salary. He doesn't need your salary, Betty Jean. He doesn't need your salary, Regina. He doesn't need your salary, Evangelist Carolyn. Your needs are met according to his riches. Not according to your salary, not according to your bank account, not according to your 501k, whatever it is, 401k. It's not according to none of that. He meets your needs according to his riches. My God. Let me leave you with this. Write this down. My needs will never exceed his riches. That's powerful. God bless you, Evangelist Brian. That's powerful. Did you hear that, Lenore? Your needs will never exceed his riches. Denise Miller, bless you. Penelope, bless you. Your Listen, hear me tonight. Your needs will never exceed his riches. Somebody need to hear that tonight. Your needs will never exceed his riches. I don't care what your need is. It will never exceed what God has. My God. Hallelujah. Tierra, your need will never exceed his good. Lisa, my God. Something should have happened to you when you said that. God bless you, Gloria. Blessings to you and your family. Your need will never exceed his something inside of you should have exploded. Something inside of you should have exploded. Your need, you will never have a need that God cannot meet. That's what it's saying. You will never have a need that God cannot meet. Why? Because your need cannot exceed his riches. My God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. 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 All right, let me end with this. Let me end with this. Two things. Go ahead, take a run. Take a run, Tierra. Take a run. My God. Hallelujah. Let me end with this. Help me make two confessions. Help me make two confessions tonight. Number one, God is my only source. Come on. God is my only source. Good, Minister Bird. Run. 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 God is my only source. Write it down. Write it down. God is my only source. Come on. God is my only source. Come on, write it down. God is my only source. Good. Come on. God is my only source. Good. Come on, write it down. God is my only source. Good. Everything else is a resource. Everything else is a resource. Everything else is a resource, Lisa. God is your only source, Lenore. Everything else is a resource. My God. Okay, good. Number two, you need to know this. Tell yourself, God is my only source. Right where you are, say it to yourself. God is is my only source. Say it to yourself, not your husband, not your wife, 
not your job, not your bank account, not your savings. God is my only source. Roma, Koraba, Shekel, Renando, Rebo, Kosha. My God. Hallelujah. Number two, I want you to say this to yourself. God is faithful. Come on. God is faithful. Write that down. Come on. Say it to yourself right now, Betty Jean. God is faithful. Come on. Say it. God is faithful. Come on. He's not like your friend. He's not like the person who promised you. God is faithful. Come on. God is faithful. Hallelujah. Even when you don't have the faith, God is faithful. Good. Good, 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 Tierra. Good, Lisa. My God. Good, Tasha. God is faithful. You got to tell yourself this over and over. Come on. You got to tell yourself. Number three, you've got to tell yourself, God already knows. Come on. Number one, God is my only source. Number two, God is faithful. Now, number three, God already knows. Go to sleep. God already knows. Go to sleep. God already knows. Come on, tell yourself, God already knows. Don't rehearse the problem. Don't keep rehearsing it. Don't keep rehearsing the problem. Tell yourself, God already knows, and go to sleep. Go to sleep. Good, Tierra. Good, Tasha. Good, Lisa. Come on. Good, Minister Burke. God already knows, Nisi. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. God already knows, Regina. Come on, you're not praying, you're complaining. You're not praying, you're complaining. God already knows. Stop telling him what he already knows. Hallelujah. My God. Yes, you will. You will sleep better tonight. My God. All right, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here tonight. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Your perspective changes when you put God first. Your perspective changes when you seek first the kingdom. Your perspective changes when you seek first the kingdom. Your perspective changes when you seek first the kingdom. Hear me. Your perspective changes when you seek first the kingdom. All right, I got to go. God bless you. Come on, tap that screen if you were blessed tonight. Come on, if you were blessed tonight, tap that screen. Come on, if you were blessed by the word tonight, tap that screen. You can't serve two matters, and God doesn't want you worried about problems. Hallelujah. Come on. He doesn't want you worried about problems. Because when you serve the right master, you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat. You don't have to worry about what you're going to wear. Hallelujah. Why? Because your heavenly father already knows. My God, he already knows. When you go to the bank, my God, and they tell you this or that, remind yourself, he already knows. When you go to the mailbox and you get those bills, say he already knows. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Good. Thank you, Glory. Gloria. Good. Yeah, your perspective changes when you seek first the kingdom. God does it supernaturally. God does it supernaturally. God does it supernaturally. All right, do me a favor. Come on. I want to give you an opportunity tonight. I got to go. I want to give you an opportunity tonight if you so desire to sow tonight. If you so to desire to sow, put up. God opened the door on last Sunday. I spoke and bought a word. Three souls, awesome, recommitted, awesome. Three souls recommitted. Let's thank God for those three souls that recommitted their lives to the Lord. Can we thank God for those three souls that recommitted their lives to the Lord? Awesome, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. All right, we want to give you an opportunity tonight. If you are blessed, go to our website. The website's up there, uh, Facebook. The, the uh, cash app is up there, face, uh, Facebook. Somebody put the website and the cash app up on uh, Periscope, please. We want to give you an opportunity if you were blessed and you want to sow. We're in the process. We got two days left. We're going to be a blessing to our four graduates. 
We're going to be a blessing to our four graduates. We have four graduates that are, have graduated, and we're going to be a blessing to them. So if you want to participate in helping us be a blessing, just go to our website, go to the Cash App, say, this is for the graduates, and you can uh, send a donation for the graduates. You know that 2020 was a year that was shortened, and a lot of things our graduates could not uh, do. They did not get to do, but we want to let them know we support you. We want to let them know we are with you. I don't know if you've ever been in college, but just to have anything, anything is a blessing. So we want to be a great blessing to our four graduates. All right. So thank you so much. We love you. Thank you for joining us tonight. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. Anybody need prayer before we go? God bless you, Sister Lily. Anybody need prayer before we go? Anybody need prayer before we go? Anybody need prayer before we go? Anybody desire prayer before we go? Hallelujah. I pray sweet sleep over you tonight. Sweet sleep over you tonight. Remember, God is your only source. Remember, God is faithful. Remember, God already knows. God is your only source. God already knows, and God is faithful. Father, we thank you for unspoken requests by Lisa. Father, we thank you that before she even acts, you have answered her, and we thank you for the manifestation of this unspoken request. We thank you right now for opening up the door that no man can shut and shutting doors that no man can open. Father, we thank you now for Lenore. We're praying for her arm and her neck. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we curse arthritis. We come against that arthritis, and we thank you that your word cuts it off at the root. In the name of Jesus, we call her healed, whole, and healthy. Father, we pray for Sister Rosa tonight. We thank you for her. But what you say, you have a love and a, a joy concerning her life. And we thank you that everything that concerns Rosa, you promise to perfect. So we commit her and her family to you. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Good. Good. Let her know we love her. Let her know we've been praying and thinking about her. Father, we pray for Betty Jean with the headaches. We curse every headache. My God, right now, and we command those headaches to leave all discomfort, all pain now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that her body functions even as you have created to function. In Jesus' name, we call her healed, whole, and healthy. Amen. Thank you, Minister Bird. Thank you, uh, Brother Larry. All right, anybody else before we go? Anybody else need prayer before we go? Anybody else need prayer? All right, once again, go to the website. If you were blessed, hallelujah. Come on, tap that screen one more time before we leave. Let me see some hearts. Let me see some thumbs up. If you were blessed, go to that website and make a donation tonight. My God, hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, also, we are on every morning, Monday through Friday. If you want to join us every morning at 7 o'clock, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday at 7 o'clock, we are on every day. Even if you are not able to watch us live, you can watch the replay at your leisure. You can watch the replay at your leisure. God bless you, Gloria. Love you. Give your mom a big hug, for. Give your mom a big hug, please. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise your holy name. You are God and beside you, there is no other. We thank you for all the unspoken requests so many people, Father, are going through. We thank you that you are aware of it. We thank you, Lord, that before we even call out, you have already answered. We thank you for the answer that is coming soon. We thank you for the manifestation. We speak health over the people tonight. We speak healing over the people tonight. We speak peace over their minds. Let your peace guard their heart. Let your peace guard their mind. I thank you. We come against worry. We come against anxiety. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for Minister Bird sowing tonight. We speak back into her life for sowing into the graduates. Thank you so much for sowing to our graduates. We appreciate that. Hallelujah. To you be glory. To you be praised. God bless you, Tierra. Sweet sleep tonight to everybody. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.